welcome to my channel that's all about helping you and your pet live the best life together. Today I want to talk about how you can make your cat more cuddly and snuggly and just a lot friendlier in general. So the main thing that you want to do is to have your cat associate happy feelings and good feelings with being touched and being petted and being stroked. So this takes time, it's a gradual process and Eventually, over time, you're going to have a non-affectionate cat or even a standoff cat or a fearful cat become a friendly, happy, sociable cat that wants to sit with you and snuggle with you and cuddle with you and that loves pets. So it's completely possible to train any kind of cat to be a little more sl snuggly. Of course, some are going to be more than others because cats have different personalities and just like dogs and people, that they're all different. They're not all going to be the same. Not every cat is the same and some of the following things that I'm going to say may work for you and your cat and some of the things may not. So use the ones that your cat seems to like and respond to and the ones that don't seem to work for you and your cat, you can just ignore them. So the first thing you need to do is to get your cat to like to be around you. Cats really do enjoy having company and they like being around people. They don't always like to be bored. They're not really as independent and standoffish as most people tend to think. And they will get bored when they're alone. So you want your cat to first of all enjoy being in your company. That's when you're not touching your cat. You just want your cat to like being around you. Sometimes it's enough for a cat to just be in the same room as you and to not be touched or just be sitting next to you. So to get your cat to like you more and to want to be around you more, you need to be calm and you need to move slowly. So cats often feel threatened by sudden or quick movements and loud movements. So be calm, move slow, and be quiet. Also, try to avoid staring at your cat, especially in the beginning when you're just forming this relationship or you're trying to get your cat more comfortable with you, with you and enjoy being petted. Don't stare at your cat. In cat language, staring is a form of aggression when two cats will just sit and stare at each other and look into each other's eyes. That is a very aggressive thing to do. If you catch your cat's eyes and you end up looking at each other, which of course that's going to happen, you can't avoid your cat's eyes, do a slow blink at your cat. This is like a kitty kiss and I explain this in more detail. I'll leave a link to that video of all about kitty kisses but basically what it is is just slowly closing your eyes and slowly reopening your eyes again. Often your cat will return this blink to you and it's like they're giving you a kiss. Also let your cat come to you. You don't want to force your cat to stay with you. You want your cat to be able to come and go when they want to. Never chase your cat, never hold your cat down or pin your cat down, never squeeze or hug your cat too tight so they can't get out. Don't force them to stay in a room with you or in a spot with you. Instead, make it comfortable around you so that they want to stay. And to do that, you're going to be calm, you're going to be quiet, you're going to be moving slowly. And place maybe a bed by your computer where you're working or a comfy pillow on the couch beside you. Make the areas around you where you're doing something quiet and calm like reading a book or watching TV or working on your computer. Put something around you that your cat will enjoy sitting with or sitting on so they get used to just being next to you in your company. Then once they're comfortable, you can start touching them in their favorite spots. So all cats have the same spots that they like to be touched. These are because they have scent glands on in these areas and they like to be able to get their scent. You often see cats rubbing their face on the edges of corners or on items that they really like. So their scent glands are on their face, under their chin, on their cheeks, and the spot between their eyes and their ears. So all those areas, usually all around the head, are areas that cats will like to be touched. Also down along the spine, but you want to avoid the belly and the tail. And sometimes for cats, the chest as well. So figure out what your cat likes and then just stick to those areas that they do like and that they do enjoy to be touched. And eventually over time, you can get your cat used to being touched in all areas. But first to start, just stick with the areas that they like. Pet your cat while your cat is sitting down, 
calmly at the window or in a place where they already feel comfortable. So an area that they already enjoy and like to be. This is when, where you can start petting your cat in an area where they feel comfortable. If your cat likes to be brushed or groomed, pet your groom your cat and pet your cat at the same time so they get used to the feeling of your fingers and your hands and they're also getting groomed by a brush which is something that they already enjoy so they associate the two things together as being good feelings. You can also right before you feed your cat you can give them a little scratch behind the ear or a quick little pet, 30 seconds of a, a rub or a massage, and then give them their food. So they associate with getting food with having pets, and they like their food, so they like being touched. You can also give your cat a treat or a snack while you are petting your cat. So this again associates the same, the food, the good association from food with being touched as also being good and a comfortable and a feeling that they like. Also pet your cat gently while your cat is already comfortable, comfortably sleeping. So if your cat is in its bed or doing something that they already really enjoy, which is often sleeping, just give them some pets and they usually will take that easier than if they're walking around or being active. If you're cat doesn't come in your lap and you want your cat to come in your lap, you can place your cat in your lap and then immediately give a treat to reward your cat for being in there. Often your cat will, you'll put your cat in your lap, you'll let them go, give them the treat and then they'll eat the treat and run away or they'll grab the treat and then run and eat the treat somewhere else and that's completely fine. Over time if you keep doing this they'll be staying in your lap for longer periods of time and if they're in your lap for a few minutes just keep rewarding them treats keep giving them treats just give them treats for being there for being in your lap and for staying with you treats can be um, just their regular daily food it doesn't have to be a special treat it can just be the dry kibble you can break up their not leave a bowl of food out for them and instead give them little treats and rewards throughout the day if you're home all day most cats really dislike being held or picked up, so that's something that you want to avoid until your cat is already used to your touch. And when you do have to pick up or hold your cat, give your cat a treat every time that you do pick them up. So they associate, again, good things, yummy treats with being picked up. Also, it's very important to make sure that you play with your cat regularly. Play with your cat for at least 5 to 10 minutes every single day. Often the aggression, the scratching, and the biting, or whatever your cat's doing while you're trying to pet or snuggle your cat, these aggressive actions completely disappear once you play with your cat because your cat is instead playing with your fingers or your hands. They have this built-up aggression in them, and when they can release that by chasing a toy mouse or a toy string or some feathers or a wand toy, they don't need to act that way when you're petting them they get it all out playing with the toy. Sometimes cats are aggressive just because they haven't had enough playtime. So playtime is really important. So as you've noticed a lot of these suggestions you might need to keep some little treats in your pocket as you move around the house and if you do do this and you do this every day that you are or every time you're home with your cat your cat will really quickly learn how to pick up that you equal good things and getting touched by you equals good things. You want to make sure that you avoid any harsh discipline and punishments. Never hit your cat. Don't yell or scold your cat. What you are want to do is just reward your cat with treats for good behavior and ignore the bad behaviors or the behaviors that you dislike. So no punishments at all. You want to show affection to your cat regularly, so this is an ongoing, this is a process, this will take time. Some cats it will be quicker than others, especially if they're younger, it can happen very quick, but this is something that you regularly need to do. You need to do some of these things every day and over time your cat will become more and more friendly the more that you do these things and for the longer period of time that you do them. Also, finally, whenever your cat approaches you, instead of you approaching your cat for pets, for love or affection, make sure that you give it to them because they're coming to you asking for this and this is something that you want them to do. So even if it, you're busy and if it just takes maybe just even 10 seconds of your time to just stop, 
and give your cat a really good scratch behind the ears or a really good few strokes down their spine. Do this. It, it will really reward your cat for coming to you and asking for this attention and they'll do it more often. I hope some of those tips were helpful and if you have any of your own suggestions, please share them below in the comments and please like and subscribe so I can see you next time.